Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, this is the second part of the video. I have put on a few objects and stencils and a few colours and uh, they're on directly onto the jelly plate. And I'm now going to put a little bit of colour over the top of where these plastic pieces are that I've put on because they can make a nice extra pattern loving this yellow um, absolutely gorgeous colour I'm going to add some more yellow down here and of course I've already got the imprint of some from before so I'm just pushing this up onto the top side those of you who just joined me, this is a jelly plate and I'm, what I'm doing is creating some nice papers to be able to use for my art. So I'm using brown paper this time again. It's already been screwed up so it's all mixed that adds to it. I'm going to place it down on top, give it a good rub. Normally you use a roller. You use a roller. But unfortunately, I don't know what I've done with it at this moment in time. So I'm gently going to peel it off. Give it some nice stencil in there. We can place that on one side. This is the other one from that that I did earlier. And there. And of course, I'm not going to waste that one. I'm going to make another one from that as well. I'm going to place that on top. You can the rough. Don't ever waste your paint. I'm sticking to this yellow and black because this is I'm I'm wanting to use and cut these up for in the forest for my concertina sketchbooks. Just pulled that off. That one's not so good, but there's bits of it. If you want in a bit of yellow area, you've got it. There's no no point in wasting it. All right, I'm going to pop that down onto the floor. Back on here again. Because I've got the indentation on here now. I'm going to remove these plastic pieces. over the top might just scratch into that a little bit because it looks a bit uh go scratch into it with this a bit pop it on one side press it down what i do is i usually leave them all to dry and then when they all dry, I staple them on one corner, just on one corner. And then I fold them in half and I put them in the drawer. And then whenever I'm ready to do any... There's another one. They come out beautiful. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of black now. So the yellow is already underneath there so if you remember whatever colour is on underneath that will be on the layer that shows up so it doesn't matter that you have you're covering all this that doesn't matter at all so here so i'm going to use some nice diamond stencils here look let's put it across so it's like that place your paper on top give it a good rub It off. Look at that lovely print. Yeah. Now if I take this off or put some yellow now in between. You've not got to worry about getting your stencils dirty. If you get your stencils dirty, you know they, they either wash or we I don't bother. You know, the stencils are great. The more dirty they are, the better, I think. Plenty on, look. Plenty on. 
I'm going to put some down here again. More contrast. I like that colour green that it's made there, you see. Beautiful green. It makes it that it's um, pleasant, you know. Just pop that on one side. I'll show you more when they're done. Place it down again. Brown paper to me is one of the best things ever because, like I said, it's uh, mid tone, which makes it really easy to add just your darks and lights and it's it's makes it that it it's beautiful to stick down in concertina books and sketchbooks this one's kind of come out absolutely lovely look that's a work of abstract art on its own <laughs> so can you see what it's like never ending of what you could do so I'm putting them all on the floor and then you can see yourself. Now I'm going to remove this stencil and now I'm going to use that that's there. So you're not wasting any of your paint. Always remember my my jelly plate came in this plastic in this plastic thing and it's got a lid as well that's how you buy them and what I found was that was really really good was that if you um, look after it and wash it and wash all your stencils or leave your stencils just as long as they dry doesn't really matter um, then you're getting the most out of out of it and you can put it back in the box it can't slide anywhere that, that's like that's done it the opposite way around now so you have the black and white green and then the black and white again so I reckon if I place this one back on here this was one I did earlier see if we can get some more off of it these diamond shapes at an angle like that look amazing if you was doing woods woodlands and things like what I'm doing or in a concertina book or a sketchbook or an octopus book whichever it is that you're wanting to do you'll find that the this sort of a stencil is ideal because you can make it you can chop it down and you can make it look like it's a fence sorry the camera's wobbling a little bit see there's another one can you see that's how simple there is and you can just bang them out obviously on um when you're working with Things like um, when you're working with um, brown paper, you can buy it on a roll. You can cut them. You can do lots of little ones if you want to. I mean, lots of little ones are good because um, people think, oh, you've got to do it this A size, A4 size because this is the size as it is. You can, and then chop them up and and one thing and another. I'm just going to do some different random marks now inside this I'm not pressing on too hard but I'm just doing it so that you can see yep. this was one that's already I've already done this one but it didn't come out very good so I'm just going to place it back on it's all experimenting trial and error Just look at that beautiful beautiful I mean you could just stick that in as it is couldn't you into your um, you know into your sketchbook or whatever it brings out such beautiful lines and you know you can then simplify with that with some white or whatever it is that you want yeah so I'm just going to go over this one as well this one's already like this I'm just going to see what happens what if I I always say 
I have a tutorial, tutorial, a tutor. Her name's Louise Fletcher. I'm going to name her because she's absolutely fantastic. Uh, and she always says, what if I did this? What if I did that? And that's what I say in my mind all the time now. I say it, what if? In other words, what happens if I try this and what happens if I try that? So, there we are. Beautiful. Okay. So what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to pop this one side. I'm going to disconnect the camera and then I'm going to show you in a minute. Okay. <laughs> 